What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us today on The Root of All Real. Appreciate Freddie and Valerie for having us here today. Much love to y'all guys. Oh, yeah, you know Much love to Javi here. Appreciate you, man, having me, man. Thank you for being here, brother. And my yeah. boy, Ralph. Oh, yeah. What's appreciate on, you for being here, bro. And uh, thank you for all the listeners, all the viewers. We appreciate you guys. Much love to y'all. Uh, today's topic, uh, it's going to be about other dimensions. Do you guys believe that other dimensions exist? Parallel uh, realities? Like, um, there's so much ways, so many ways we can go with that. So, uh, with with uh, different dimensions, do you think that other dimensions exist? Like, where I or you or uh, fucking uh, Ralph here <laughs> exists, where he's like a celebrity, he's a superstar, yeah. where Javi here is like a. A famous DJ, like he's going doing shows and shit like that. Mm. Where Freddie could be a freaking basketball player, <laughs> three pointers, like left and right. <laughs> like, uh, what do y'all guys think about that, man? Uh, Javi, if you want to start it off, bro. No, uh, I want to start off with. Uh, I know this might sound funny, man, but I know there's other people out there that could think about, it, man. I never got into the cartoon Dragon Ball Z until I watched it for myself. And it just gave me a sense of thought, like a different, how how they're able to zoom into a different planet, bro, just like that, and just uh, just uh, read people's power and this and that. I mean, I know it sounds kind of stupid, man, but if you really get into that uh, cartoon, man, it makes you think like, wow, what if there is intelligent life out there that can reproduce, man? I mean, we can't even hit X amount of light years out there, man. We can't even... Uh, we can't even, you know what I mean? We can't even, you know, we can, like, for example, uh, like to get in the ocean. The ocean is here, yet we can't get out under so many feet, man. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy, man, but I do definitely believe there's other there's other dimensions in general, man. I think that there is life out there. I don't know about intelligent life. I think there is because it's so vast, but I think there's definitely something out there that we don't have the technology enough to explore further, man. To find out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm hoping that technology catches up with. There probably has, like, fucking the government probably has all this technology hidden where they have all these fucking stuff that they know about. But, of course, they're not going to tell us regular Joes, all the people sitting at home watching Netflix and all that bullshit. Yeah. So, um, uh, the y'all guys think that's something that exists or do you just do you just think this is it this is all there is no nah, i don't i don't I, for me personally i don't think like what javi was saying earlier that uh you know like deep in the ocean they i did i knew uh i was watching tv discovery channel stuff like that and they said that you know regular ocean when you go so many feet down that even us we, we can't go because yeah. it's too much pressure we lose yeah people die man yeah people die. but there's different creatures down there, I was yeah. like, that, "That's badass to me. That's that's cool. I would love to do yeah. something like that, man." But yeah, that's cool as shit. Like Talk go about all, dimensions, yeah. Well, well, no, dimensions, that. motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. Dimension. That's, green hey, that's, biology. Yeah. yeah, I'm just saying that too. And they don't get uh, these creatures that are being explored, man. Dope, they don't get named. Dope. Yeah, they don't fucking, get named until they're they different. they get to research about them, man. Yeah. How do they live? Mm -hmm. You see, uh, I, I watch a lot of new National Geographic, man, and they. They're still putting colors on elephants, man, because they want to know mm -hmm. what their life is like or what they're doing, this and that, man. It's like, it's crazy, man. This right. is regular. I mean, think about even bringing uh, animals that are extinct back to life, man. Think about that, man. You know, the mammoth, man, like, you know, yeah. things like that. What do you think, Freddie, man? You think that there's a different life out there, man, different dimensions in general? Hell yeah, man! I, I feel like there's uh, a whole bunch of different planes of existence, mm -hmm. and I believe in frequencies because the math is there, the science is there, and it fits in with uh, every form of religion too. If you look into, you know, Christianity, you know, what I'm saying Buddhism, Muslim, all of them got this stuff in there too. It's all numbers, it's all math, mm -hmm. and everything is up by design by a creator. So it, it, it's, it's funny you just said fact, you know. it's funny because you talked about you know creator, but do you think there's God out there? Well, 
Because you whatever, know, whatever, you, whatever you, you choose, it, it's to something. God, it, it, Allah, Buddha. Yeah, yeah. yeah there I'm is saying, a creator but there, overall. There's something. All, but it's say something. that is what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, there is a higher power without a doubt. I think mm-hmm. everyone, you know what I'm saying, there's proof and everything that's facts right there. Yeah. Too. If you look at the design, this is not an accident. This is done yeah. by someone. This is numbers and math. That's what I'm saying. And and if you are able to raise your frequency, then you will reach another plane. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Have, have you heard about if you can reach a different dimension? Have you heard about Nikola Tesla? How he used to talk about three, the numbers three, six, and nine. Yes, yeah, how that's what I'm talking about. That's related to a lot, a lot of the mathematics that have to do with how stuff works and everything, everything, everything. Plants, you, air, water, everything has all these different numbers, and it's all the same numbers. Mm-hmm. And everything it's, it's a revolving cycle Of everything to Basically fit like the puzzles To make everything work It's like Almost like I don't know What they call those things But I remember You used to see On the TVs Where they would have The, the commercials And you had the little girl With the drawing on the paper And mm-hmm. you have that Tool That when you move the You know what I'm saying It makes yeah. like crazy designs Yeah That's exactly Geometric it, designs Yeah What we see Is earth like this And stars <clears> But really That's how it, Everything is is all numbers and designs like that when you break it down. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's like so complicated. Well, sometimes some things are simple, but when you get really down well, to the complicated stuff, it's... E- everything, e- even simple things can be complicated. Yeah. It depends on which way you're looking at it because, you know, I, I do stuff where I go to places to fix things and, and weld stuff and repair. And when we come in there, sometimes, you know, when I first started, you look at something... And to someone who's been doing it for a long time, it's simple. They're already like, oh, you're going to do this real quick, boom. But to me, I've never done this before. It's my first time. I'm looking at I'm thinking, like, how am I going to put this up here, you know? Yeah. And yeah. and you're making it into something hard because you start overthinking and you're thinking this and that. So it's because you don't understand because you're not on that level yet. Yeah. But, yeah. but once you have learned and then you acquire that knowledge and you step up, then next time when you show up, you're the guy that's getting there like, oh, this is simple. This is nothing. Like nothing. The next thing is, you know what I'm saying? And that's how everything should be. Like, you never stop learning. There's never an end to it. But that's why I, th- I think there's a lot of different frequencies. And that would explain ghosts, too. You know what I'm saying? If you think about it like that, that's a whole different frequency. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, want, I wanted to touch on the, the subject, Mario, uh what about the government, man? Supposedly hiding UFO uh, existence and yeah. this and that from the people, man. What is, why, why is there, why, why do you think that they're limiting that kind of things to the world, man? You think it's a dangerous thing for them? What do you, how do you feel about that, man? I, I think, in my own opinion, like they're hiding this because a lot of the masses they wouldn't adjust. Um, to the technology, I, I think that they would probably freak out and start panicking and all kinds of shit yeah. like that. I don't think that they're ready for that type of shit, so that's why they do it in phases. Yeah. They slowly yeah. roll it out. They, they've they known for a co- fucking long time, dude. Like, in Germany, they had fucking UFOs flying and some of the uh, flying uh, fights that they would have with all the planes and all that oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. And they would actually see the UFOs yeah. In the air, and a lot of the Germans, they they already uh, had that technology. Yeah. And, but how did they know about it? Yeah. The like, where did they get those those plans from? Where did they come from? And a lot of the technology, the U.S. ended up finding out about it and confiscating all of it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the German scientists they ended up, ended up defecting over to the U.S. Yeah. And uh, they became uh, part of. Um, uh, the U.S. Uh, scientists, yeah. the team, and that's a lot of shit. That some people don't know, but you know, if you research it, you'll find out a lot yeah. about this shit. Yeah. And uh, it's crazy, though, man. Um, but uh, do you guys think like there's a version of you out there that's uh, living your dreams? Like, let's say, like you're a millionaire and doing all kinds of shit like that. Do you think there's a version of you? Doing something that you wish you oh, you hopefully, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think so because I think that's how you explain the Mandela effect because CERN has already opened up and fucked up the timeline, so we're on two different. So, yeah, I, I believe that there'd be another you. I don't mm. know about how many, yeah, but they have a lot of theories from some scientists that say that they believe that there's multiple that this has already happened a few different times, and so, yeah. 
who's to say? You know what I'm saying? Uh, for the for the people out there that don't know what CERN is, that's a hydrogen collider, which uh, all they do it's a like a big ass circle. They split atoms. They mm-hmm. split atoms. They make black they, holes. They uh, smash all the atoms together to to try to create other particles or try to look for all kinds of different atoms and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, that's as simple as I can explain it. It's kind of mm. complicated, but mm. yeah. But uh, supposedly that in doing that, they've already been able to to dip into the time fabric and alter things, and you know what I'm saying. So yeah, they're they're trying that, to that's what happens. They're trying to look for like a a god particle or some bullshit like that, but mm. they're trying to manipulate all these atoms and stuff and create other things that th- you've never even heard about and shit like that. Yeah, mm. but um. Yeah, Ralph, what about you? Do you think that uh, things like you being uh, maybe uh, maybe a comic book editor or something <laughs> like that exists? I don't know, man. Maybe. I, I don't know. I, I mean, I try not to. I mean, I haven't thought about it, to be honest, but he just, you know, Freddie brought it up right now. He said there's a different version. And maybe, maybe there is, you know. What if what if you got a chance to meet him? Would you? I'll <laughs> would be freaking out. Self? I'll be freaking <laughs> out. Yeah, that's crazy <laughs> as shit. Like, I don't know if y'all seen the movie Looper. Yeah, he basically like that. Like he meets his older self, which is that's that's the truth. Yeah, but that's it's crazy. That shit. I don't know. I don't know. What would you do, Freddie, if you met your own self in the in this reality and you were, and he just came up to you and was like, "What's up, bro?" <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? I'd probably be thinking this guy must be thinking like me, so it must be important. So why are you here? Like, what the hell's <laughs> going on? Hmm. Bobby, what would you say? Um, I don't even know, man. I'd, I'd be like, hey, man, let me see your left hand, man. Let me see what's real with you, man. <laughs> if, if your hand ain't like mine, man, you ain't real. You ain't me. <laughs> but uh, honestly, bro, my question back to you, though, Mario, with that is do any of your guys believe in reincarnation, man? Oh, man. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I definitely believe in reincarnation because um, I, I've seen people who like recall memories of their like their old lives children usually like they recall past memories yeah and they yeah. actually get in touch with the families that they used to know in the past life and they end up you know saying like yes this did happen yeah. all of these things did happen yeah. and shit like that so I, I do believe in reincarnation and it's uh something that's pretty weird and strange man i mean what what's to say what happens after I die after anybody passes no. away? No. We don't really know. I mean it's it's hard. I think I think we go somewhere else, man, to be honest with you. I feel like I feel like after you die, like okay, the person who created us is like, Okay, this wasn't the life for you, let's go on to a different yeah. world. Basically, yeah. you know. I feel like that. I don't know. Like yeah. a like a portal, man. I'm yeah, like basically, Mortal like okay, you're done with this world. Yeah. You weren't. You, yeah. It was over. You're done. Let's take you somewhere else. And then just like a grade, man. How did you do overall? Yeah. How did you treat people, yeah. man? Yeah. You know how did you deal with whenever you got angry, man? Did mm-hmm. you just cut them out, blow them out, or mm-hmm. did you give them a chance to prove themselves and this and that, man? So yeah, yeah. you know. I can see where you're going with yeah. that, man. You know, I, I, that's what I feel. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I mean, we're all gonna die one yeah. day, and yeah. Yeah. I hope we're somewhere happy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I, I definitely I believe in reincarnation, man. <laughs> I think uh, because I've lost a couple of my family members, this and that, man. And uh, one day, I was just basking in the sun in my car, man, just chilling, man. And uh, uh, a bluebird came to my window, man, and I actually st- uh, stood on my my left mirror, uh, basically right next to me, and he, he or she can see me, and I'm looking right at it, and I'm moving, and it's not even scaring it, and it's just singing to me, man, and it just started singing, man, for 10 minutes, man, and I was like, wow, you know, I never really seen that old clothes, man, it's like, I was watching a movie, man, you know what I mean, like, what, that's crazy, man, but honestly, bro, you know how they say people that do believe in reincarnation, like, mm. a sign that... One of your loved ones is watch, still watching yeah, over you, man. Yeah. I'm Got still here, bet. man. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm still looking over you, man, so don't forget. Mm. And it just flew away in peace, man. I was like, wow, you know. I took a picture. I still have a picture of it, man. Uh, but I, I, do, I definitely do believe in science like that, man, yeah, you know. That's, yeah. That's what amazing. about you, Freddie? How you feel about that, man? You, re- you believe in reincarnation? Yeah. 
I don't know uh, From I guess my idea Of everything With reincarnation Would be Cause I feel like We're all connected As one And You know what I'm saying Cause it, even in the bible Or you know what I'm saying In other uh, books as well It says that You know what I'm saying The creator Whoever made us Says You know what I'm saying We are a part of him So If you think about it Like that Then that would mean We're all connected yeah, mm-hmm. because if we're a part of him and he is everyone, then all of us are part of each other. You know what I'm saying? And scientists are just now also realizing that plants actually have consciousness, mm-hmm. and those are linked to everything. So if that if the plants have consciousness, why wouldn't the earth have consciousness? So if you put all those things together, and then you look at the science perspective of if all matter is equal, no matter can be created or destroyed. Then that would mean you'd have to have some sort of a reincarnation purpose. There has to be something because you have to keep the equal yeah, amount of matters. matters. Yeah. So there's no way to change what's there. Even if people die, something has to come back to replace it. Mm. Yeah. So uh, if you look at it like that, there has to be. And then you know what I'm saying I, I think I think when you go back, it's all of us as one. And we are with God and you know what I'm saying? Or the creator, the most high, you know what I'm saying? And you come back as one collective with all your experiences in life, everything that you learned, everything that you did, everything that you saw, and you bring all that stuff back and you share it as a collective. No. And then everyone's going to be like, everyone's going to see what you did. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's going to see what, you know what I'm saying? And then yeah. you are judged yourself. You know what I'm saying? Basically, or it's each other, but it's a part of you too. Yeah. yeah. And from there, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna break off, and it's like maybe maybe you accomplished what you needed to do to go to the next phase of whatever you know what I'm saying. And if not, then you need to come back and redo yeah. another lap on Earth, or, or or maybe you know what I'm saying. You weren't spreading the right message. You're gonna come back as an animal, or yeah. you're gonna come back. You know what I mean, yeah. I don't want to come back as an animal, I, I, man. I, 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 like, maybe, I don't want to come back. Maybe as you animal, can choose bro. to. Maybe maybe that's what you want. Maybe yeah. like, man, fuck all the. Pro- you know what? I just want to be a bird. Like, I want. You know what <laughs> so what about like something happens? I become, I become a fish. And, like, I get eaten right there. Uh, like, two uh, minutes. Uh, <laughs> have any of y'all had dreams where y'all flying, man? Y'all go flying, and it's just. Yeah. Uh, wow, man! I'm actually up here, man. I I read on that, man, and it feels like it said something about just where you're in peace, man. Where everything's just yeah. gonna go good, man, down the line, man. Yeah. If, if, for example, if you get bit by a snake in mm. your dream, that means you're gonna hit some rocks along the road that are gonna be kind of hard for you to get through, man. But you're actually gonna have to find out how to get through it, man. But you know. As far as that, man, uh, do y'all believe that dreams mean something in general? I think man? so. I think yeah. I, for me, I, I I think it's like like another world or something like that. Like like you just said earlier, another too, dimension. Man. Yeah, another another dimension, man. Like yeah. it's not for Earth; it's something else. Like if like for me, a person always comes back, man. Always comes back in my dream, even though we're not talking anymore. We lost contact years ago. It's it's something. It means something. You know what I mean. That's funny that you say that because I, I actually seen you you in the dream, Ralph, like, like a few weeks ago. Oh, sure. I seen him uh, in a dream. We were like at a farm or some shit. Really? <laughs> nighttime and a bunch of other people, bro. <laughs> 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 and for some reason, you look mad at me. I was like, what the fuck? Why are you mad, bro? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it was probably because we hadn't uh, done episode three or again, bro. Yeah, yeah, we haven't done episode 20, 25, man. Episode 25, four years later. You already? <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I, I think dreams have a lot of meaning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I've seen myself fucking flying in the air a few times. Uh, I never had that dream. It, it's weird <laughs> when you have it; you feel like you're free, like yeah. nothing's, oh, like, yeah, no, nothing can touch you. Oh but, yeah. yeah. But but the the weird shit was I I was flying over Egypt. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 seen, I seen the fucking pyramids, bro. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. That, 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 I promise you, that shit that's was nice, so. Man. Sure, it was a dream. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that that's shit nice. was beautiful, man. man. I don't know. Maybe I was. Uh, what's it called? Astral. Astral projecting. Astral projecting. Yeah. Because I used to love looking Could've up, been. Looking mm-hmm. up uh, pyramids a lot. For people who don't know, astral projection is when you yourself uh, envision yourself traveling over there, and like like your spirit actually goes over there. Um, I, I guess you're like 
sleeping, mm. sort mm. of, or in between. You're in a deep state of yeah. uh, meditation, basically. Yeah, mm. yeah. And I've seen a dude that uh, tried some DMT one time in front of me <laughs> that did that, mm. and that's what, how he said he he explained his experience because we were chilling on the porch. And they were like, yeah, you want? I'm like, nah. And he's like, yeah, I'll try it. I'm like, whatever. I'm like, you try it. Yeah, and this dude was, was like smoking. <laughs> and next thing I know, like, he took two hits, maybe three. And, like, he's just there looking at me. And then he's like, yeah, you know. <laughs> His head just goes down, like, instantly. Yeah. He just quits talking. I'm like, oh, shit. He just died. And she's like, nah, nah. It's, it's cool. And she's laughing. I'm like, <laughs> I don't, think that's, I don't think that's cool I was like You want me to hit that shit I was like Hell no nah. look, yeah. look at this guy And so like He's drilling and shit And He's out for at least I don't know Five Ten minutes maybe You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. Ten minutes maybe You know what I'm saying It's like Oh damn Like this nigga Like he's out bro Yeah And yeah. When he does come back The first thing he says it's fuck you to that girl. And like, Why did you give me that? And I'm like, damn. I'm like, yeah, nah, I'm not doing that shit. You know? yeah. And uh, the dude said instantly what happened to him was he, he lifted up out of his body, he said, and he could see us. He said he could see us and hear us talking. And he could see him sitting there drooling and looking dumb. And he said he couldn't <laughs> stop himself from floating away, though. And then he floated out from my porch, floated up in the st- in the sky. He said he's and like first it was cool, he was, and then I started to panic. He goes, and then everything went black. Oh shit! And I don't know where I was at, and I couldn't get out of there. He was, I was just there for a while, and when I came back, he's like, I w- I woke up. Hmm. Damn. That's some but he shit. said he started to float away And he could see like the city He could see cars going And he said it was cool at first But then he started freaking out Because he didn't know how to, how to move around <laughs> And get down and what to do yeah. And so yeah. I'm like man It sounds like you were astral projecting And he's like I don't know he's like, but it, it was scary but cool at the same time And I'm like would you smoke it again He's like no I'm like yeah, fuck nah, that nah. shit It didn't look good at all yeah. It looked scary like, He just like, uh, nope. have, you, have any of you guys had a dream in the dream woke up in that dream had another dream and then woke up from that dream yeah that's all the dreams no <laughs> woke up no. the dream within the dream man yeah. i woke up from a dream within a dream once but i've never had three of them yeah like, i only had like maybe like two and that's only happened to me yeah. once yeah. i've only had two only a two. I can't say I had dream with yeah, dream, no, dream, no, dream. No, 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 no. Well, yeah, yeah, my bad. That's what yeah. I mean. That's what I mean. I'm sorry. Had a dream. Mm-hmm. You woke up from that one dream, mm-hmm. and then you woke up from that dream. Yeah. Y'all had that too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, that, that's what I mean. I'm sorry. That's what I mean. So y'all have. What do you think that means? Do you think it means anything at all? Mm-hmm. I think I'm it, not expecting you to remember, but, you know. Cool. Uh, I think that at that point you're really deep in a, like a really a deep, deep sleep. Deep sleep, yeah. like you're really in there, and I don't know, something's trying to tell you something, like, yeah. like a yeah. warning, a message, yeah. or, or maybe a warning for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I, I was in a deep sleep like two weeks ago, man, and I was just out, like I was snoring. I know I was snoring. I heard, I woke up snoring. Yeah. And then I went back to sleep, and then I woke up, and then I heard, and I'm like. And like popped up from bed. No. It was late at night. It was no. two in the morning. It didn't sound clear as day. I went to my door. Nobody was there. But something told me to get up no. and yeah. make sure everything was locked. No. That right there, that scared the shit out of me. I ain't gonna lie. But do you believe that as a sign? Because do you maybe take that a, as a sign? Maybe it's a sign for me to get up, check. Yeah, maybe maybe make something. Sure. Wanted, maybe yeah. something because I feel like we all have sign. some yeah. type of signs. You know, yeah. like you always have a a feeling in your, in your gut. You know, and, no. and you follow that shit. No. You know? Yeah, for me, you always, for me, follow, you you always follow it. Always follow you. If kid. something's wrong, it's going to tell you. And, I, and I've been through it three times. I've been through it, you know. So I, I take it. Have any of you ever had a dream where you woke up and it, that dream actually gave you a sign that that's why you had the dream? You know what I mean? Hmm. Uh, for example, let me give you a, uh, an example of why I believe in dreams, man. Um, two days before my grandma passed away, my mom had already been passed away and my nephew had already been passed away. 
and we were living, we were sitting at a circle outside of my house where I'm gonna go later, uh, in a few, uh, in a few weeks, you know. And uh, we were sitting in the circle, and my grandma's still alive. Yeah, she's in the hospital, uh, you know, living her last days that I didn't know about. And uh, she's sitting next to me in the dream, and she's crying. And uh, my nephew's in front of me, and my mom is on my right. And my nephew looks at me eye to eye, and then he asks me, Hey, Javi, they buried me already? I say, yeah, Joe, they buried you already, man. And he went, man. And, but, but basically, I was talking to my grandma, and I, she was crying, you know, wiping her tears, man. And I told her, don't worry, grandma, we're going to see them again. You know, we're going to see them again. We'll see them again one day. And she just wiping her tears. She didn't say nothing. And then I woke up. Mm-hmm. Oh. Two days later, she passed away. Mm-hmm. Wow. So when I told somebody that dream, I asked my friend, hey, what do you think that means, man? you think it means anything? And, uh, and he goes, you ever thought about basically them coming to you in the dream and sending you, They're okay. hey, how it's time to take grandma home? So that basically just letting me know she's about, she's about to be gone, man. So I never thought about that, man. So, so I was like, uh, wow. My mom, she had a dream of your brother oh, a yeah? couple of years ago, man, yeah. a couple of years ago. And she said, she told me, she's like, they were sitting on the cloud. And clear as day, he's on one side, she's on the other. Yeah. And they're talking. She's like, so how are you doing? Are you okay? And she's, he's like, don't worry about me. I'm fine. He's like, I just want you to know something real quick. He's like, do not tell anybody we had this conversation. And if you do, I can't talk to you again. And, you know, my mom told, you know, her mom, grandma. And she never, he never, she never had a dream again. That well, gives why, me goosebumps, man. Would you that gives me goosebumps, trust, man. Like, why would you say something? Crazy, though, right? I, I don't, fool. I don't, I don't blame her. Yeah. Because I would have done the same thing, man. How could you not tell that dream, yeah. man? Oh, I'd be selfish. Shit, I want him to come back. I'd be like, yeah. all right, bet yeah. we gonna see. Like, you better come back. If you don't come back, but that's a meaning, everybody. you know. No, but the, the, the way yeah. I would take that, cause is that, of course, I know myself. I'm gonna share that dream. Mm-hmm. But the point is there that he already said, "Don't worry he about was me." He's fine. He it's was happy. Fine. Yeah. So he's in peace. Yeah. So that that gives me goosebumps. Like, wow! I wish I had the dream, man. Mm-hmm. My own brother. I wish I could talk to him, ask him, "Why did you live that type of life, bro? You yeah. know, why did I had so many questions for him, man? But I can't do it. Yeah. And I have dreams of him here and there, man. But yeah, I, I believe dreams in general mm-hmm. mean something, man. It's just up to you. To figure out what it is, man. Yeah. You know? I agree yeah. with I think, that too. I think that dreams sometimes just prepare you, like for for stuff that you might not be able to handle, or maybe they it also helps you like resolve old, like old shit, like you've been through. It helps you process pain, helps you process all kinds of feelings that maybe you have deep down inside. Yeah, and you haven't yeah. worked through really like trauma yeah. and shit like that. Yeah. And suppressed feelings. Yeah, <laughs> suppressed shit. No. And if you haven't worked out the, uh, your, you know, suppressed feelings, and you might have dreams about it, and you're about, you're basically telling yourself uh, what's going on through yeah. dreams. Yeah, yeah. You deal with your shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 definitely, but man, definitely. Do you think, Freddie, that that's maybe some something that dreams might be about, like stuff like that, like repressed feelings you might have, or yeah. traumas, shit like that. So y- your body is like a computer. And j- just like on your computer or like one of them high tech cars, the newer ones, it's got a computer system in there and it alerts you and it's like bing, bing, like, hey, this is a problem. That's what those dreams are. And it can go for multiple things, is what I think. I think sometimes it's because you, you have issues that you're not dealing with. Sometimes I think it's because your your gut, as in Ralph was saying, you know saying? your mm-hmm. gut feeling yeah. is telling you like, hey, something's coming up. Like how how you were saying, it's a, it's preparing you for stuff, and and all those things depend on how good you're taking care of your body. You know what I'm saying? You eating right, and uh, you know what I'm saying? Your spirituality. You know what I'm saying? How in tune you are with everything around you, and and how what your energy is like. So, I know for me, for the longest. My the way I ate was really horrible, and for years I haven't had dreams. No, no, no dreams at all. Nothing. Well, I mean, I think I have them. I can't remember. Yeah, uh, sometimes you just don't remember. Block. No, do you, do you not sometimes. Remember? I mean, like for years straight, no bitch and pizza, before nothing. The, nah, nothing, nothing at all. Wake up just black. But wow. before then, I used to have vivid dreams. Like you'd feel like you're right in them, like hmm. all every day. 
all, every day I had like crazy cool dreams, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Or scary dreams, or you know what I'm saying? Just very real dreams. Yeah. And yeah. just, I don't know, one day out of nowhere, it's like, boom, it's like a block on my dreams for like years. And like I something eating happened better. maybe that might have caused it. To yeah, happen. something happened. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, like, Talking I saw, about I eating better than I had dreams again. Talking about dreams, man, I wanted to share a, a personal experience, man, that uh, I wanted to ask. First of all, I wanted to ask you, uh, do you think that you can control what you want to really do in the dream? You know, you're looking at, it's like you're looking at a movie, but yet you're in the dream, you know what I mean? So you think that you can control what you really want to do or say in the dream? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. You, can, you can do that if you... If you realize that like, you are German, you can control it, but it takes practice. Like yeah, it, like if you look at your hand in your dreams, you, it, it looks hazy. Mm-hmm. You you know that you're dreaming, and it'll snap in your head like, oh shit, I'm dreaming, and then you can do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> go to <laughs> fucking, fucking fly to Egypt, go to Paris, him go, in Egypt, man. go be a millionaire, whatever you want, man. You can. Mm. I've done it a few times, but. It's been a while since I've been able to do that, but man, I loved it when I was able, when I was able to do that shit. Yeah. For for the majority of my life, the reason that I ask you is because one time I asked Mario that question uh, off the air, of course, and you know, just in general, and uh, he started laughing and he said, "Yeah, I can, I can control." I said, "How, how the hell do you do that?" When I'm trying to control myself, sometimes I'm the driver in the dream. And then I'm in the back seat the next minute. I'm like, how did I become the driver and then the passenger at the same time, the yeah. same dream? But it was like, I can't control that. You know what I mean? Mm. I can't control that. So basically, I asked Mario, can you? He said, yeah. So what he said was, look at your hands, do this, you know, do this and this and that. And I did that. I mean, I had a dream the next day after I asked him that because I never had it. Mm. You know, I never could control myself. Like, what I really want to do or say, this and that. But uh, the next day, I had a dream, and there was an angel. An angel was pulling me from one arm, and I was holding on to the gate with my other arm. But yet, while the angel was pulling me from one arm, I wanted this, man. No bullshit, man. I wanted this. Oh, now Mario told me to do this. I did that in my dream, man. One day after I asked him that question, man, and I was like... He told me to do this. Oh, I'm dreaming. Yeah. I woke up, man. I mean, to me, man, they give me fucking goosebumps, man. I was like, wow, <laughs> man. I mean, I believe dreams really mean something, man. You uh, know, just trying to tell you something, man. You know, it's just <laughs> make, it's like, crazy, make, man. Basically, like a different universe, man. Yeah. Like, basically, yeah. Dimension, yeah. man. Like yeah, we were saying, di- man. Yeah, different dimension. Yeah, different dimension, <laughs> man. Yeah. But, yeah. I, I think it is, an, like, another dimension. Like, I've read a few books where it... It says something about uh, the dreams being like a dimension where you can practice doing like uh, stuff. Maybe you have a hard time doing like stuff like you're afraid of or you have fears of or shit like that. And you can get better at doing all the things that you're afraid of in that dimension, Mm -hmm. which are dreams. But other people think that maybe it's just where you go when. Maybe you might be astral projecting and stuff like that. Or, I don't know. It, nobody really knows, you know? So yeah. It's hard to define yeah. what it could be. Yeah. Um, but Therapy for the mind. Hmm. That's a de- that's a definitely good, good uh, answer, bro. I think it might be possibly yeah. a good place where you can work all your yeah. issues out and shit like that. But yeah. Man, yeah, man. ultimately, man, it's a, it's a mystery. And uh, hopefully yeah. one day we'll have the tech, the technology to like record our dreams and play yeah. them back, and maybe see us yeah. jumping around and doing crazy yeah. shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Man. yeah. But uh, yeah, what do you think uh, is is um, the next step for dreams, Hobby? Do you think we're gonna eventually? Uh, be able to look at our dreams in the future. You know what, Mario? There, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I've had dreams of places that I don't recognize, but the dreams that I've had in the past are like a deja vu, man. I don't know if you guys have ever had a dream being in that same place. Oh, I remember this place. That's there. This is there. This and that. Like. I don't know if you guys have ever had that, man, but I've had dreams where 
I'm in the same place, man, and I'm like, I remember this, it's like a deja vu, man. I don't know what you guys feel about deja vu, what it means, but it has to mean something, man. A lot of times, I'm like, this this looks exactly the same way. I remember Mario was right there, Rob was right there, and we kind of said the same thing at the same, like, it's just weird, man. Yeah. But yeah, I think there's definitely something with dreams, man, you know. It takes you to a different dimension yeah. in life. Deja vu is weird. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I've had it a few times, and it doesn't get any uh, more normal whenever it happens. It's just like, what the fuck? Mm. I already did all this stuff. <laughs> he was there, he was there, she was there. And yeah. Do you ever change it? <clears throat> nah, nah, no, I can't say that I, I have, but uh, can you? It happens so many times for me that, like, I, there's been a few times where I'm like, man, I'm not even going to do it and see if it happens differently. But you can't change well, for, for, from my experience the last three times this, the, all, all the stuff still happened the same mm. I just didn't say the same stuff I was yeah. just like yeah. no. okay. some way or another and there's movies out there like that man I know I've seen a movie man where like a man predicts that this is gonna happen but he dies first he has to die first and then just weird man and uh, you know I had to go through the same thing and he changed it by say, killing himself by saving his wife, you know what I mean? I forgot the name of the movie, bro, but, uh, you know, he predicted what was going to happen, man. Can you imagine being able to predict what's going to happen, man? That'd be, like, a superpower, man, yeah, like, yeah. you know? I'd be rich. You yeah. know, that'd be... <laughs> Live all my wildest dreams. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Stock don't go, don't, like don't go in that car. car. Don't go in that car. Something bad's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> man. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, I remember her. She was in that corner, man. Yeah, yeah. I know what she's about, man. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know. He's cheating on you. He's yeah. gonna cheat on you. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know you're a man. You know, yeah, <laughs> like, <okay. you> know? <laughs> she's actually a man. Yeah, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. Do you guys think that mm. in the future we're gonna end up finally being able to record our dreams and view our dreams, or do you think that's not a possibility? Uh. I don't know. From I don't know. Maybe Shit. I don't know. Maybe if in the future, if the government chips you, they'll probably be watching your dreams <laughs> while you sleep. I mean, if they can actually really transmit a, a chip inside a human, Mario, mm -hmm. why you couldn't they that. record a dream, man? If they just put electrodes on mm -hmm. your brain, man, and just have a sleep study and just, be just uh, like, like phones. you know, put it on a uh, what do you call that projector screen, man? And just put it there. And wow, I'm actually seeing. Because honestly, man, I'm going to go a little bit away from the subject. When we die, I believe there's going to be a movie played of all your life, man. Yeah. You remember when you were this? <laughs> I mean, you know, cool. everything's going to be played, man. Like, if that can be played, man, that's definitely a way to record your dream, man. So I definitely look forward to something like that. Y you know what would be awesome? You know? To, to come up with a, a way to do that though, Just so you could see it like, yeah. Oh, yeah Oh yeah Everyone talks about photo albums Imagine if, if you were like The first baby You get chipped with that stuff Like boom Boom Infant All the way up your whole life And then you go back And they're like Look, Check it out Play it out oh, man yeah. uh, That's crazy man <laughs> Like all the real shit That you saw You are saying Not from yeah. everyone else Hey imagine that shit At the funeral Real shit Like everybody try to come yeah, up there man, With that man, fake man, bullshit yeah, yeah. And then they play your From your eyes And yeah. they see you like yeah. Motherfucker like, yeah. <laughs> You like, loved him huh no. <laughs> you know? Yeah, how many gigabytes do you need, man? Well, <laughs> she named 80 years, man. So you have uh, 80, 80, 80 years worth of gigabytes, man. You know, like that's a, a long, that's a long life, man. Yeah. That's a long life. I but I would definitely look forward to that, man. I think that uh, I would hope that they wouldn't try to commercialize it because they're, they're, <laughs> they're going to get this model. You'll be able to record such and such from this period to this period and blah, blah, blah. The most blah, important yeah. moments of your life and, in uh, HD. That's what I would really hate to happen. We exclude the, the time behind closed doors, mm -hmm. man. That's a little bit, you know, private, man. You know, yeah. But yeah. outside of that, man, I wouldn't mind, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, I wouldn't mind. Uh, nah, I want to see that too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everything on there, <laughs> the, the same, all that stuff for replay. Because, man, you're saying that now. Imagine when you're like 80 or something, you're sitting there by yourself or something. You're just like, man, thinking about the highlights. You know, you're just like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's rewind that real quick. You know, like, yeah. Fuck going out and buying a tape. I want to see me. You know go what I'm saying? Like, uh, watch me in action. Go to 3459. Not 69, but 3459. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep, uh, so. 
man, it's, cool, it's fucking. Man. It's been yeah. a really good uh, conversation we've had here, guys. Yeah, yeah. appreciate it, man. Uh, you guys been here with me recording all oh, that yeah. we've talked about today, and um, I'm gonna leave all these guys uh, links in the description. Oh here. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. We appreciate uh, you guys' time. I'm gonna leave uh, a few details about our website. It's gonna be out probably like in, I guess I would say in about a month. I'll be finished with it. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with all of you guys. All right. So, uh, Javi, any final words, Ralph and Freddie? Uh, first of all, I just want to give my prayers out to uh, people in Louisiana. I know some people got hit and they got flooded. Uh, we're we're the neighboring state, uh, neighboring state, so we definitely know how it feels to get flooded. But uh, prayers out to everybody. You know, uh, yeah. we always gotta take care. Especially in 2020, I know there's a lot of negative things going on in the world, but think of it, think of it as a positive, man. We got to come together and uh, just grow, grow, and uh, appreciate life. Appreciate the people you have around you and and go from there. So God bless with y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing for me, man. I hope everyone stays safe during this whole hurricane and coronavirus and 2020 just sucks regardless. But that's it. Everyone stay safe for me. Yeah. Freddie, any last Words, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I think y'all covered it right there. All I'll say is, uh, hit us up with uh, any questions and topics that y'all want us to discuss and stay safe out there with everything that's going on. God bless everyone. All right, y'all, we love y'all. Y'all keep safe. Much love. Peace. Thank you.